Do you want to make thousands of pounds every single month on Amazon FBA? Well, today I'm going to share that with you and show you exactly how you can source these products on this amazing new site. Now, before we start, I just want to say that you should pause this video and sign up to Kugita using the link below in the description. And you're going to get £120 off your first order with the code FBA Mogul. And I'll pop that on the screen here and I'll see the link down below as well. So go ahead and get signed up to Gita and then also give a seven day free trial of sellability a go. So not only are you getting the software for free for seven days, you're also getting 120 pounds off your first order. So this is a no brainer. Like I say, go ahead and get signed up to both of those and then come back to the video and I'll show you exactly how you can utilize them together. And also it's worth mentioning as well, I've got a free Discord community, link for that in the description. This is for Amazon FBA sellers, existing and new sellers. And if you join that and message me, I will give you your first Quagita deal so you can buy in confidence. Now let's just jump straight into it. So here we are on the Quagita site. And firstly, what you need to do is go ahead and create an account. Make sure that you use my link and my discount code to get your 120 pounds discount on your first order, which is just insane. So once you've done that, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can download the catalog, filter it, and then put it into sellability to find some absolutely killer deals. So there's a few ways that you can get the catalogs. Uh, the first one is to go via the different categories. So here, for example, let's look at fragrances. If you go to shop all perfumes and colognes, it will load up all the perfumes and colognes. And what we're gonna go ahead and do, you'll see that you've got this download catalog uh, link here. But before we actually click on that and download the catalog, we just wanna go down and just untick hide out of stock products. That's gonna get rid of uh, quite a few out of stock products that are not just in right now. And then what we're gonna do is go ahead and click download catalog. And then from here, you can see that we have the filters applied of perfumes and cologne and in stock. We want the filtered catalog and we're gonna go ahead and click send email. That will then go ahead and send the email to our inbox. Now this is the way that I do recommend you do it because you're getting a more filtered list of um, things to download. If you wanna download the entire catalog, what you can do is just go ahead and click full catalog here and then go ahead and click send email. This is gonna basically send you all 600,000 plus products that are on Kogita in stock and out of stock. And it's a bit overwhelming, let's put it like that. But if you wanna do that, that's absolutely fine. You can do that. And then what you're gonna do is go ahead and look in your email after a few minutes and you'll find that you've got an email with a download link to the catalog. So I've gone ahead and downloaded the catalog and this is exactly what it looks like. Now we need to manipulate the file just a little bit before we can actually upload it to sellability. Now you'll see there's a bunch of different rows at the top here where it's got the Kogita catalog, all this kind of stuff here. Um, we need to actually get rid of this. So I've opened this up in numbers, which is I'm on a Mac, but it doesn't matter if you use Excel or you can do the same on Google Sheets. It's all pretty much the exact same process. What we wanna do is just delete these top four rows just to get rid of all this extra bump that we don't need. And um, we want the top row to be the GTIN, the name, the brand, the category, you know, basically just letting us know what the actual column headers are. So once you've done that, you want to go up and you want to export this to a CSV. So you want to go export to CSV. This is how you do it on numbers. It'll be different on Google Sheets or um, Excel, but pretty much the exact same process. Click save and then decide where you're going to save that. I'm going to call this one perfumes all on the 2nd September demo. Cool. Right, and then save that. So now that we have turned our file into a CSV, we're gonna go ahead and go to sellability. And this is the sort of dashboard that you get when you're in sellability for those of you that are using it. And by the way, if you wanna download and give sellability a try, there's a link in the description for that. So what we're gonna do is go to start a search by wholesaler on the left-hand side here. Now it's worth mentioning there is a maximum upload file size of 20 megabytes. If you went ahead and downloaded the entire Kogita catalog and exported it to CSV, there is a chance it'll be over 20 megabytes. So you can use ChatGPT to split that for you. Because we've gone ahead and just done the perfumes, then we're fine. It's only about three megabytes. We don't have anything to worry about. And what we're gonna do is gonna go ahead and drag in the catalog table as it's called, the file's called by default. And once that's processed, we're gonna go ahead and select. We can see here that we've got the actual preview of the file. 
all looks good to me as well. So it looks like the exact you know, the actual sheet. What we're going to do though is we need to tell Solubility exactly what the columns are because obviously it's not smart enough to do that. Um, it's better you know just do this yourself basically. So what we want to do is go ahead and go name, and we need to find the name category. The price is going to be the price including shipping. The ASIN, we don't need that, we're all good. The barcode is the GTIN, and there we go. Then we're all good to go. We don't need any of the other stuff. Now we can just go ahead and start wholesaler search, and that's gonna take, depending on how big your catalog is, between sort of uh, minutes and hours, is it all depends on how big of a sort of catalog you've just uploaded to sellability. So once you've gone ahead and actually done the search, you'll end up with the, completed search here or in progress search as well. You can actually look at the deals as it's actually scanning, which is really awesome. And what you're gonna do is go ahead and open that up and look at the deals that you found. Now, don't just drive straight in. Uh, by default, it's selected the broad range. We don't want that. We want to uh, edit criteria. And what we wanna do is totally reset this uh, so we can see all the items and then we actually set our own criteria. So right now we're ordering by profit. I think that's fine for now. When it comes to ROI, you can probably set your uh, limit, you know, your minimum to around 20% if you want. Let's look for a minimum of profit, maybe of around five pounds. Um, in terms of BSR, we'll go like negative one all the way up to maybe two. We don't want you to go more than that. You can also put the number in as well if you know roughly what you think, 1% or whatever it is for, um, you know, we'll do, let's go up to 1%. Let's go for that, cool. So top 1% of deals. If you want as well, which is quite a powerful feature, is you know sometimes you get restricted brands like um, Calvin Klein or Hugo Boss. You can decide if you want. You can exclude words here. You can exclude, let's say, Hugo Boss. Oops, about that wrong. And that will then exclude that for us as well. So that's a really nice feature. Uh, and that will include like, the retailer title or the Amazon title. We probably should have put that into the uh, Amazon title. But yeah, that's one thing you can do if you want. It's just thinking about removing all that. Going down to the price, if you are worried about trying to like not buy anything too expensive, we can look down there as well. And in other as well, we can look at the match confidence. I don't deal with any of this, to be honest. I leave this alone. Uh, we can also, a very important thing as well, is hide matches without the buy box. So now that we've got all our filters in, we're hiding Hugo Boss. We've got the uh, match in the buy box. So only showing deals with a buy box. Uh, we've got, we're looking at the top 1% of items. We're looking, going from five pound profit all the way to, five, well, whatever the maximum is. Same for ROI, 20% all the way to the maximum. We can actually start looking at the deals now. And from here, we can see uh, a chart. So we can basically see the 7, 30, 90, 1, 8 in 365 days. Very important to see all this. I don't think the 7 and 30 is very important. What I'm starting to look at is the 90. Um, and what I'm looking here for is, I'm just saying, is the buy box, which is the nice pink line here, um, and we can get rid of the other stuff that you want. You can just have what's important here, the buy box and Amazon. Um, you can basically look at that and see how stable this is. And then we can look at the 180 days and the 365 days just to see if there's any difference. I suspect this is private label or unsellable, so we won't even bother looking at this one. But we can just go ahead and scroll down and have a look. And you can obviously link up your BuyBot Pro into this as well to give you the sales calculator. So we can just carry on down looking for some deals. You'll also notice it's showing you whether you're eligible, ineligible to sell. You can always just refresh this to double check. Uh, this obviously sellability is linked to your Amazon account. So that's really fantastic to see that you can do that as well, just to double check. Um, and you can just scroll down and look for deals basically. So we can see here, we've got a lot of these ones that are, uh, you know, very profitable. We've got the price of excluding VAT and including VAT, which is very nice to see both of those. Obviously, you can see how much money you're going to make if you're going to add, say, 10 of these or one of these, um, you know, what you're going to be doing. You can add to Amazon as well if you want. And on the right-hand side, or I should say in the middle, actually, we've got the uh, well, availability. We don't need that. The ROI, the profit, and the estimated sales as well. So that's a really fantastic um, bit of information that it shows you. You can even add notes as well if you want to for this deal. So, you know, we just need to go through basically and look for all these different deals and just analyze them, go into Amazon, have a good look and, you know, see whether they're, they're a decent deal. So, but the first analysis should be happening here. You can discount or, you know, deal, a lot of deals by looking at the charts on the right hand side. So here's quite a nice deal. Issey Miyake, £8.80. Um, what's the price right now? We're saying the price is 49.46 which seems about a little bit, maybe a little bit higher than normal, but um, you know, it looks like it's definitely within the range. 
um, 46 pound it has been in the past quite stable dipped up to 51 down to 49 we can look at the history of this one we can see okay it was a crazy dip back deal back here but in general this lives around 45 pounds which is really nice so quite a nice profitable item here to be honest um, again you can look at the, uh, the 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 chart as well the longer chart of 365 if you really want to so it could be a potentially good deal here as well um, yeah absolutely so loads of information here um, you know, you can add this to your deal stack as well. So if you want to save this for future, just click add the deal stack and then you get all your information on your deal stack there. Um, and yeah, sellability is just like a crazy, amazing bit of software that lets you scan all these different items and find some amazing deals. And when you pair it with Kogita, it is really OP, you know, overpowered. It really is a gold mine, to be honest. And if you want to go ahead, you can see a deal stack on the left here where you can save, all your saved items are in there. So, you know, any, as you go along and you, and you find deals, add them to your deal stack and take advantage of that feature as well. So guys, I hope you found that uh, amazing, to be honest. Quigita is a gold mine of deals, but you really do need to use a tool like Sellability to actually take advantage of it. There are just too many products to analyze manually on Quigita. So they have over 600,000 items. Now they're not all in stock. I'd probably say maybe around 200,000, 250 are in stock. That's still too much to search by yourself. So a tool like Sellability is absolutely essential. So if you want to sign up to Kogita, you've got the link below. Uh, sign up for that. You get £120 for free. It's £100 excluding VAT and £120 including VAT. So £120. And if you want to sign up to Sellability as well, the link for that is in the description. Pair these together and you're going to make a lot of money. So absolutely get signed up below. And remember, I have a 100% free Amazon FBA Discord community. There's a link for that as also in the description. And if you want to sign up and find some deals, or you want help finding your first deal, you can join my community. It's a great place to hang out anyway. You can also DM me and I'll send you an exclusive deal just for you um, so you can get your first order in with confidence knowing that you've got a really good deal and a really good profitable item. So thanks for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. All that helps the algorithm, helps my channel grow, helps me do more videos like this, which helps you guys as well. And I'll see you in the next one.